Uh, have you ever wondered why certain groups in history have been expelled from numerous nations throughout time? Throughout the annals of history, expulsion has been a recurring theme. It's a complex phenomenon that often arises from a combination of socio-political conflicts, economic struggles and deep-seated prejudices. The causes are varied, the outcomes often devastating and the lessons we learn invaluable. Today we turn the spotlight on one such group that has faced expulsion numerous times, the Jews. Their journey, fraught with trials and tribulations, is a compelling narrative of survival and resilience. From the ancient city of Medina to the kingdoms of Europe, the Jews have been expelled from numerous regions throughout the course of history. What were the reasons behind these expulsions? What were the consequences? And most importantly, what can we learn from these historical events? So let's delve into the historical timeline to better understand these events. The expulsion of Jews did not begin in modern times. It has roots going back to ancient civilizations. As we delve into the annals of history, we find the first significant expulsion of Jews occurred in Medina during the time of the Prophet Muhammad. Accused of treachery and conspiracy against the Prophet, they were banished, setting a precedent that would echo throughout history. Moving forward in time, we arrive in medieval England. Here, the Jewish community faced multiple expulsions. The first, in the year 188, was triggered by allegations of usury and anti-humanism. This expulsion was immortalized in literature, with Shakespeare portraying a Jew demanding a pound of human flesh in lieu of unpaid interest in his play. The English expelled the Jews three more times, in the years 1198, 1290 and 1510, each time due to mounting sentiment against their practices. The pattern of expulsion was not unique to England. It was a recurring theme across the European continent. In Switzerland, Jews were expelled twice in the years 1298 and 1616. Then again, in 1634 and 1655, the Swiss authorities expelled them. Ultimately, under the rule of Philip V in 1701, Jews were entirely expelled from Switzerland. These early expulsions set a precedent that would continue across the European continent. The constant ebb and flow of acceptance and rejection, inclusion and expulsion marked the Jewish experience in Europe. It was a cycle that would persist with varying degrees of intensity for centuries to come. But as we will see in the next segment, the scale and intensity of these expulsions would reach new heights in the 20th century, culminating in one of the darkest chapters of human history, the wave of expulsions did not stop in England, it spread across Europe. Switzerland, often seen as a neutral ground, was not so forgiving when it came to the Jews. In the years 1298 and 1616, they were expelled, only to face the same fate again in 1634 and 1655. The reign of Philip V in 1701 marked a complete expulsion from Switzerland, a move that left an indelible mark on the Jewish community. Austria and Germany were next in line. Austria expelled them in 1541, and Germany followed suit in 1570 and 1580. The reasons behind these expulsions varied, but the underlying sentiment was the same. A deep-rooted mistrust and hostility towards the Jewish community. Hungary in 1380 and Spain in 1391 joined the list of countries that expelled Jews. The Spanish expulsion was particularly brutal as it involved the burning alive of 5,000 Jews and 30 more were forced onto the scaffold. The expulsion from Poland in 1407 added to the growing list of countries that had shunned the Jewish populace. The year 1492 marked a dark period for the Jews in Sicily. They were not only expelled, but also faced severe restrictions in their own country. Sicily passed laws in 1516 that confined Jews to the worst parts of the city. Lithuania and Ukraine followed this trend in 1495 and Portugal in 1496 and again in 1555. The expulsion from Spain and Portugal was repeated several times, notably in 1629. The Jewish nation found itself constantly on the move, seeking refuge where they could. When Napoleon Bonaparte ruled France in 1806, the Jews faced another ultimatum and a massacre. With each expulsion, the circumstances of the Jews became increasingly precarious. Each expulsion marked a new chapter of struggle and survival for the Jews. The consequences of these expulsions were far-reaching, impacting not just the Jewish community, but the fabric of European society as a whole. 
The story of Jewish expulsions is a testament to the resilience and enduring spirit of a people, even in the face of constant adversity. The 20th century brought its own set of challenges and expulsions for the Jews. As the curtain lifted on the 20th century, the Jewish community found itself entangled in some of the most tumultuous events of modern history. The stage was set in Germany, where Adolf Hitler's rise to power in 1933 marked the beginning of a dark chapter. Hitler, imbued with a deep-seated hatred for Jews, held them responsible for the world's ills and ruin. This animosity led to not just their expulsion, but a systematic state-sponsored genocide known as the Holocaust. Jews were herded into concentration camps where they faced abhorrent conditions and brutal treatment. The gas chambers became symbols of this horrifying period as millions of innocent lives were extinguished in these death factories. Hitler believed his actions would be hailed by future generations, but history judged differently. The Jewish community, however, did not remain passive. They used their influence and resources to shed light on the atrocities committed against them ensuring the world would remember the Holocaust. This event, one of the most grotesque displays of human cruelty, was etched into the annals of history as a stark reminder of the depths to which hatred can plunge humanity. Yet the aftermath of these events was not a period of peace. The Jewish community, having borne the brunt of such extreme persecution, was pushed towards a new conflict zone, Palestine. This move, backed by the British through the Balfour Declaration was largely political, as the Jews had financially supported England during the Second World War. In Palestine, however, the Jews found themselves accused of the very atrocities they had once fallen victim to. Accusations of human rights abuses, including the imprisonment of Palestinians and the destruction of hospitals, schools and even UN aid agencies were leveled against them. This, coupled with the ongoing conflict in Gaza, has continued to generate controversy and debate. The horrors of the Holocaust marked a turning point in Jewish history. In the aftermath of World War II, the Jewish expulsion narrative takes a different turn. The culmination of centuries of expulsions and persecutions led to the establishment of a Jewish state in Palestine through what is known as the Balfour Declaration. This 1917 document issued by the British government expressed support for the creation of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. This decision, however, was not without consequence. As Jewish immigrants flooded into the region, tensions escalated with the native Palestinian population. The land once shared became a battleground. The establishment of Israel in 1948 marked the beginning of a conflict that continues to this day, known as the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The confrontations have been marked by periods of intense violence and relative calm, with both sides suffering losses. For the Palestinians, this has meant enduring occupation, displacement and a continual fight for self-determination. For the Israelis, it has meant living in a state of perpetual defense, subjected to attacks from groups who refuse to recognize their statehood. In the broader context, the expulsion of Jews from European countries and their subsequent establishment of a homeland in Palestine has had far-reaching implications. It has sparked a geopolitical quagmire that has drawn in nations from around the globe, each with their vested interests and ideologies. The echoes of these historical expulsions resonate today, not just in the Middle East, but across the world. They have shaped our societal fabrics, our political landscapes, and our collective consciousness. They have taught us lessons about tolerance, coexistence, and the human capacity for both cruelty and resilience. As we navigate through the 21st century, these historical events serve as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of prejudice, discrimination and exclusion. They challenge us to learn from our past, to foster understanding and empathy, and to work towards a world where such expulsions are a thing of the past. The expulsion of Jews throughout history has had far-reaching effects, some of which are still felt today. Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've undertaken. We've voyaged through time, tracing the expulsion of the people across continents and centuries. From the ancient city of Medina to the heart of Europe, we've seen the Jews expelled time and time again. We've heard tales of treachery in England, persecution in Switzerland, expulsion from Sicily, Austria and Germany, and the horrific atrocities committed in the gas chambers of Hitler's Germany. We've seen their arrival in Palestine and the tragic conflicts that followed, 
Each expulsion, each episode of history has left an indelible mark on the collective memory and identity of the Jewish people. We've seen the complex interplay of politics, religion and power. History is a rich tapestry of events and narratives, and understanding it helps us make sense of our present and future. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey.